last time, um, we watched Jean kind of degrade herself, and we collected broken pogo sticks to get fixed. The most important thing is that we didn't find Gladius. She's still out there missing. So, let's see what we can do today. Um, I don't remember exactly what we were doing, so I thought we'd just check the market once more. It's Mr. Folks. Good. The only things those idiot sticks were good for was breaking and hurting good people like the mayor. That Maximilian Scallywag thinks there's a fix for everything. As if anyone would buy repaired food. Bah! Well... Will Max repair food? I'm curious. We have Mr. Fixit and Maximilian. Who's Mr. Fixit? What? Is this his alter ego or something? His secret identity like Batman? One broken pogo stick. This town may hate pogo sticks, but it hates broken ones even more. There we go. I don't know whose pogo stick that was. Let's see what Maximilian has to say. Tinkerer? Max savors the word. I, I occasionally cobble a few parts together for the odd device. Hmm. You sly pup. Opportunity? Really? What have you invented? Well, the electric soap preserver, an oil for darkening glasses, the windmill powered motorboat. What else have I invented? Hmm. Well, I have reason to believe that townspeople would buy a particular kind of device if you could invent it. Oh, really, what kind of device? Well, despite the illegality of pogo sticks, some people do still play with them. So you want an invention that upholds the law, huh? He seems confused. I'm not exactly... I'm not exactly sure, but if people thought it would help them and their children to stop pogoing, you know, you'd sell a department of them. Max intertwines his fingers, he twiddles his thumbs, and he looks up embarrassed. I'll see what I can do. I don't think there's any hurry. We'll just stop by in a day or two. So we have a day or two to go search around and snoop things out. Hmm... I saw that old Oswald was back there. I guess we could go see what he's doing. No, we don't want to. We don't want to waste a day. I guess seeing as how Oswald is the only icon here, the only game piece on the board, we'll see what he's doing. You dirty old man! Don't get any ideas, Gene. So, were you them shadows on my curtains the other night? I like to think old Oswald were every girl's fantasy. Um, we already. Didn't we already take care of this fella? Um, I thought Gene already g grabbed his pogo stick. Hmm. I'm not gonna send Gene in there again, which is probably what would happen if we... I guess... Did I load the wrong save or something? I could have swore we already took care of him. Okay, I'm just gonna go with that play right there. We'll see what he does. Oh yeah, we got him. You're too easy to read, old man. So now that we agree upon what we're talking about, we'll see to it that your fantasy aid gets fixed. Max will bill you later. Oh wait, so he... Did I not get his pogo stick before or something? I don't know. Where's Max at? Come here, Maxie. I must have fixed it. I wonder how much it costs to fix these pogo sticks. More pogo sticks already? Just one. It's got a lot of use on it. Might be hard to fix. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Can I give it back to old Oswald? It's been fixed? Been thinking back when I was a tyke with my first stick. Don't make them like they used to. They're getting cheaper. Break easier. Thank you. 
So there's two pogo sticks down. Is this the stool pigeon again? No, it's the playground kids. He did it? Max fixed my pogo stick? He sure did. Having said it aloud, the child looks around, worried. You won't tell, will you? Those disgusting garbage men might come back. Okay, um, I, wait, no, I guess that's all we've got, that's everything to do down here in the Dells, so, next stop, it's Tuesday, school is out, let's try downtown, there's probably a, an armload of broken pogo sticks to grab down here, maybe? It is Tuesday, so maybe they've got better things to do, but then again, it is Tuesday, so what would they be doing? Hello, Joshua. Customers pack the restaurant. Joshua squirms through the crowd. Florence told me she won't talk to you. What? Why? This is the only place to find her. She was forced to quit teaching, and she dropped out of high school. Hey, I want to talk to her. Here she is. We happen to spy her. I never want to speak to you delinquents again. She glowers and turns away. Mm. Well, I guess she really doesn't want to talk to us. I don't know what she's so upset about. Does she have a pogo stick that needs fixed? Well. What do we need to do? Maybe we need to bring her a pogo stick, put some bounce back in our life. Maybe being married has taken all of that away. Quick run! It's Wednesday, 8 a.m. Hmm. Do I need to go hang out with Max some more or something? Just to see what he invents? Quick run! Florence, are you feeling any better yet? No, she's not. Okay. I guess we could check out the high school one time. Even though this place is so out of style. We've got a whole world to explore. We can't be spending all of our time here. Oh, Gladys, are you anywhere around here? It's Coach Gustav. About this dance. I told my boys to ignore its unnatural rule about waiting the girls to ask. Puts all the weight on their shoulders now. Let them man up and ask the ladies. Okay. How is how are you doing, Miss Fox? She sounds tired. This year's moonlight dance will feature girls asking boys to dance. She sighs. We will now examine the biology of evolution. Good. So there will be a dance this Saturday at the Dells Bandstand. I guess that we can go hang out in the Dells for a bit and see A, what Max invents, and then B, what this dance is all about. Ooh. Oh, never mind. For a second, I thought we'd be able to speak to the the administration. They better tell me where, where Gladys went. Somebody has to know. What did you do with her? Okay. So, I guess... I want to see what Max has to say before we go waste some time at the Dell. I finished it. He holds up a pair of shoes. Oh, really? A pair of shoes? They're more than a pair of shoes, he protests. I made several pairs for samples. What? They're the device you wanted to deter someone from using a pogo stick. Well, do they work? They do what I invented them to do. But I don't know if they work. Okay, well, what do they do, Max? He bubbles with joy. Just just let me tell you. They're actually quite simple in design. Um, really, how simple? They can be locked on the feet for difficult children. He holds up a tiny key. 
Max, it has a key. That can be lost. Then what? We have to chop their feet off? Hmm. Well, when you walk in them, they're just regular shoes. Oh, okay, I guess that's good. Even if you jump in them, you won't feel anything more than a tingle. Wait, why would you... what? I see. But when you place the arches of your feet on pogo stick foot pads, springs inside adjust themselves to your weight. <sighs> hmm. So I guess we lean against a shovel and just consider what he said here. And first when you start jumping, they simply tickle your feet. What do you mean tickle? I don't like where this is going, Max. I used sturdy goose feathers. They gently remind the wearer at first. Let's do be gentle at first. When you jump higher, small needles poke your feet. They're painful, but don't actually pierce the flesh. Max. Yes, a little pain should be an excellent deterrent. Well, if the wearer continues, a piezoelectric crystal electrolyzes hydrogen from his sweat into a small cachet. Um, I don't like where this is going. I can't imagine why anyone would keep jumping. Yes, she can, and she fans her face. Further jumping will ignite a burst of heat, scorching the wearer's feet. That's terrific! Louise leaps up, arms raised. Guiltily, your other girls stop fanning themselves. I don't think this is a good idea. How? I thought we were supposed to be helping people, Pogo. Not finding ways to deter them. There is only one problem. What is it? I'm not sure profiting from opposite sides of a moral conflict is proper. Well, Jean would like to argue otherwise. Go for it. The old 4-2 split here. Hit him hard, Jean. Awesome. That moves that move works 90% of the time. They never see it coming. They're perfect. We'll call them Pogo No-Nos. We'll take several samples. So we got Pogo No-Nos, a pure Pogo punishment. Anyone using a Pogo stick while wearing these clogs will have their souls ravaged. This... This is... What? Since when did we become the bad guys here? So we need to test him on Miss Bubsy, huh? Shoes? I don't need shoes. I'll ring the police if this is some sort of scam. Um, who's good at fibbing? Looks like Charlotte is. Or not. I thought that fibbing was the hearts. Well then. Better get lucky here. Shit. Um, we're gonna say we have three of a kind. I'm just gonna lie. Force her to go in and gonna call her. Good deal. These are for a child or an adult you might know who needs help to overcome pogo abuse. One size fits all. Hmm, she fails to veil her interest. So how much are they, girls? Anti-pogo clogs. They are a courtesy of the sanitation patrol, Louise smiles. So what are we doing? Setting the sanitation patrol up to be hated by the townsfolk here? I'm confused. Miss Bubsy swings her door wide at your girl's approach. Welcome! She pirouettes on her well-worn new shoes. Oh, really? Okay. Let's change the hearts there. Change the diamonds. Really would have been happy if I would have got some more clubs here. Hmm. Did not go as planned. At first I was... I... I mean a... I mean my friend. I mean my friend. At first I was, I mean my friend... I mean, my friend was suspicious, but after repeated sessions, the shoe's negative 
sensations helped me. Um, no. Um, the shoe's negative sensations helped me, um, her, to overcome her self loathing. Well, we're glad that they helped you. Marjorie and Mr. Grables need these too. Now I must. She slams the door, thumping and penitent shrieks follow. Score one for Louise, then. Put, let's see, good for taunting. I guess I better start maybe working on her taunting abilities, too. She's got, she's, she's pretty dang good at gambiting, even though I don't use that, play that game very much. Marjorie the Beautician and Mr. Grables at the department store. Um, where are they at? I think that all might be downtown. And we're gonna get caught, of course. So let's just get it over with. Okay, Flatfoot, you caught us. Fairs and squares. So... This is the department store, right? Mr. Hans Gravels. Ooh, those are nice shoes. He sniffs one. Unpretentious but sturdy. You say they punish pogo stick abuse? That they do. Okay, this should be another easy one, I'm hoping. Unless I somehow manage to mess this up, which is always a possibility. I'll start breaking some of these up. Or never mind, I might be able to uncover almost all of them. Okay, I must retrieve. Uh, I must retrieve the pogo stick I I hide from from the patrol. I must retrieve the pogo stick I hide from the patrol for private offers. If these shoes work as promised, they will crown my personal. Collection of delicious heels. You should see the collection in my closet. It goes perfect with my handbags. Five fairs will order a dozen in common sizes. I will keep these for further evaluation. It's likely Mr. Grables will gush to customers about any new shoes that arouse him. Well, good deal then. So, do I need to go back to Max then? Or, here we go. Marjorie, why on earth would I want anti-pogo stick shoes? I don't have children. Okay, time to gamp at this old woman down. Let me go for this one. There's no way to lose this, or is there? Crap. Oh yeah, that was bad. That went the complete opposite way that it should have. Excuse me, I must have been misinformed. Damn. At least we tried. We got Mr. Grables on our side. Pavel. It seems Max's shoes are the talk of the town. I'll ring him about a deal, just to get the mayor off my back. Okay, well, there's another contract for Max, maybe. Max is going to go from the villain to the hero here. All because the townsfolk are completely insane. Marjorie, or Florence, I mean. Come on, Florence. Can't you forgive us for being delinquents? Let's go tell Max the good news. Quick, run! The short, fat man can't keep up. And... There he is. Okay, Max. He tries to be angry. It must be your doing. But the city just ordered a hundred pairs of Pogo No-Nos. He jumps for joy. Thank you. He calms down and begins crafting the order. This is... horrible. I can already tell that something bad is going to happen. The townsfolk are going to end up hating Max all over again. It's a sanitation patrol. There is no sanctuary for Pogo wrongdoers. 
the sanitation patrol knocks over flower pots and scatters hymnals in their search. Okay. Crap. This is gonna be a tough one. I can already tell. Um, yeah, okay. Better start paying attention here, cause now I'm out. Crap. Still have a couple... Nah, I guess we don't have too many big blocks left. Dang it. I feel... I feel kind of bad doing this to the town's... Um, doing this to the town's... Um, but the... But the boss said... The boss said what? I hate doing this to the towns heroically sneaky No. I hate doing this to the towns floors. No. I hate doing this to the towns I think it might be heroically, gosh dang it. Um, but the boss said everywhere. He assigns locations each each day. Okay. Funny. We we scoured the diner. We scoured the diner twice. But we never raided the restaurant. Okay, so this part's gonna suck. I feel kinda bad doing this to the towns heroically. I think it's heroically sneaky. No, it can't be. Stranger encouraging to the towns noodles? No. I feel kinda bad doing this to the towns I don't think they're doing anything to the floors. Doing it, doing this to the town's floors. Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna guess my first one. Heroically, no. <laughs> okay. Let's get Shepherd Clutch. He'll sort this out. This chantry survives all ravages. They who prune branches with hypocrisy, roots will one day nourish from their flesh. Um, Jane, accept it. Um, does the shepherd sound a tad shell shocked? He might be. Let's see. I figured out what to do. We'll frame the patrol in their own pogo predicament. That sounds pretty risky. Entrapment isn't the best way to make friends, you know. Well, we can borrow a camera from the art room after art class. We'll need a pile of pogo sticks. So where are we going to get those? The patrol never recovered the sticks Otto bought for his parade. Well, then I guess we'll just have to find them, won't we? Perfect. Break out the ro... Break out the... It's not rogue. Break out the rouge and plenty of rose oil, girls. The next victims of our charms may leave a lingering stench. Okay. So now that the powwow's done, I think I'm going to end the video here. And whenever we come back, um, we will hunt down the pogo sticks and go to the school dance on Saturday, probably. Unless um, Friday really drags on, which I doubt that it will.